Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. For many companies, inventory is enabled if you create your company file using the Easy Step interview. However, if you did not enable inventory when you initially created your company file, you can enable it at a later point in time. You can enable inventory within your company file and view the default inventory preferences by selecting Edit from the menu bar and then choosing the Preferences command. In the Preferences dialog box, select the Items and Inventory category from the scroll box at the left side of the window. To the right, click the Company Preferences tab and ensure that the Inventory and Purchase Orders are Active checkbox has a check within it. That will enable your inventory related features within the QuickBooks company file. Then set any additional default settings needed for your inventory and items by just reviewing the settings and checking if you would like to be warned about duplicate purchase order numbers or warned if there's not enough inventory on hand to sell. Once you've set your default inventory preferences, click the OK button. If inventory is enabled, QuickBooks uses the average cost method to determine the value of inventory. QuickBooks cannot use FIFO or LIFO costing methods. The average cost of the inventory equals the total cost of the items currently in stock divided by the number of items in stock. With QuickBooks, you can track the number of items in stock and the value of your inventory after every purchase and sale. As you order, receive, and sell inventory items, QuickBooks records each inventory-related transaction and adjusts the inventory quantity and value accordingly. In order to track inventory, you must enter each item that you want to track as an inventory part within the item list. QuickBooks tracks the quantity and value only for inventory part items within the item list as you sell or reorder the items. You use the item list to add, edit, delete, and inactivate inventory part items. You can display the item list by selecting lists from the menu bar and then choosing the item list command. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.